What's good? Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all call me Chrissy, and let's just jump in into the motherfucking video. So I noticed that Tay has been super emotional lately, and this all started when she was singing this song called "Ruthless" by Mar Mar Oso. That's so sad. Pretty girls, I hurt you so bad. Oh, what the fuck? Girl, you played me, did me so shady, got me in my feelings, taking trips lately. I already know what it's like to be angry singing the lyrics when people are depressed and people are sad about certain things it doesn't always have to be about their relationship but of course because she's known for being with jazz for the past three years everybody kind of assumes that's what it's about I definitely try not to assume but based off of the lyrics that she was singing I was like well damn literally the lyrics are talking about Girl, you played me you was so shady so lame took me as a game guys are dogs all girls are the same man she didn't deserve that and and so forth so I was just thinking like well maybe Maybe Jazz played her, like somebody was fucking with her feelings. You know, this was just all the more controversial following this whole Jazz cheating scandal, which we'll talk about in a bit. Now, on the day of her birthday, she posted a snap talking about how she's just been in her feelings. She's thanking everybody for their prayers because that's all she asked for for her birthday. Y'all better get me more than a prayer. Y'all better get me some candles. She said she hasn't really been that consistent on YouTube. She's recorded some videos, but she's just been emotional while recording all of them. It's my motherfucking birthday. No. Y'all, thank you for all the birthday wishes and the prayers because if y'all didn't know, all I wanted for my birthday was a prayer because y'all, a bitch been going through the motions. Woo! But I know a lot of y'all asking what am I doing for my birthday. Y'all, I'm hanging out with my mama. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm about to film, so stay tuned for my video. If y'all want... I filmed so many videos, but I was just so emotional in them, so that's why they haven't dropped. I know y'all like, bitch. What the content? Yeah, that's why they haven't dropped. So, I feel like if I film with my mom and, like, my family... I feel better. Now Tay did post a video yesterday and it was basically a birthday vlog and she just really needed to get her emotions out and just cry it out, talk to the camera instead of talking to some people because you know people are shady. It's disclaimer, it's going to be a lot of crying in this video, it's going to be a lot of venting in this video. Yes, I cried on my birthday but it was a learning experience, like for real, for real. It helped me like learn myself a little more. I've been guiding myself through it all. I mean, Jazz helped me. Like, y'all always think I'm mad at Jazz. I got something towards Jazz. No. Jazz, she helped me through a lot. <laughs> Today is my birthday. And leading up to this day, I thought I was going to be happy. I thought I was going to be lit. I thought I was going to be, you know, everything I manifest. But I realized I can't be none of those things I manifest. Because... I need to vent. I still got a lot of stuff on my chest. I just turned on the camera because I find myself not able to like really vent to people because I don't know. Everybody look at me as, oh, she's so strong. She got everything. Ain't nothing wrong with her. She's just being dramatic. How, however y'all perceive me. I noticed that it's better for me to vent to the camera. Into people that actually care about my well-being. And it's the worst when you feel the type of way you need to vent to somebody. And it's like sometimes you can't tell that people actually care about what you got to say. Or they're just being nosy and then you tell them something and they're like, Damn. That sucks. Like, bitch. So she says that she's been keeping a lot of her emotions inside. It clarifies that it's not just about Jazz. Like, there's other things that happens to her that's not revolving around her relationship. And that Jazz has really helped her a lot through some of these things. And Jazz still has her heart and she'll forever love her. But she says that she just feels broken and she tries to stay strong. Mentally, I feel like I'm breaking. Like, it's really hard to break me. There's, like, so much shit that... I kept in and just never really bent it to nobody. And I think that's what's really eating me up. I think that's what's really making me so like emotional. Everybody think, oh, it's because of her relationship. It's because of this, it's because of that. No, it's not even relationship stuff. It's deeper than that. Like it's so much deeper than that. And I don't think people under, well, I know people don't understand the way everybody perceive me strong independent but honestly deep down like i'm i'm 
kind of broken. Deep down, I'm broken. But I try to stay strong because I know it's a lot of people looking at me and looking up to me. And so I try to be a good role model because I never had a good role model. And she addresses why she doesn't really talk to a lot of people and why she doesn't have a lot of friends. I be trying to find that one friend. Somehow, some way, everybody that I be friends with end up liking me. And I just don't fuck with that. Or they end up being shady. Like, Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Which is understandable. I always say that as long as I have one friend, you know what I'm saying? Like, one friend is enough. In reality, you don't really need anybody, but depending on the kind of person you are, it might take a toll on you to not have anybody to talk to here and there. But she does say that she just needed to cry it out and she felt better after crying and, and says it's okay to be sad. Whew, okay, for real, for real, I feel a little better. <laughs> I know it may not look like it because it's still some tears like stuck. Ugh, I'm sorry for this breakdown. I just want to be real authentic and raw with y'all because it's okay to be sad. People make it seem like, oh, I only need to show them the happy moments. I only need to show them this and that. And that's when expectations start coming in. I just want to say it's okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. It's okay to do all that. Just don't let that shit take over you. It is okay to be sad. It's definitely harder to see it that way while you're being sad because it's just like, fuck this shit, fuck that shit, fuck everything. But in reality, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to be emotional, even for y'all niggas too, you know, with the dicks. Because for some reason, human emotions got misconstrued along society and people think that being emotional is just a woman thing, which is a damn lie. Like, let's be real, let's be serious. Men are more emotional than women, but, you know, we're not gonna talk about it right now. And the rest of her vlog is pretty much her hanging out with her mom. Who else are you gonna hang out with when you really wanna have an authentic, fun time with someone who you know genuinely cares about you on your birthday? I mean, let's be real. I know my mom probably be talking shit about me to her friends, but little does she know, I be talking shit about her too. Besties. But yeah, you can see that Tay's really going through it. And honestly, I just wish the best for her. And I'm sending my thoughts and love to her. Because just looking at her, I know how it feels. Like, she's at this point where it's her breaking point. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like you, you're at this point where you're mentally exhausted. You're tired. And you don't want to go through it no more. Because remember, she's also been going through something while she was in her relationship with Jazz. And, you know, she's been depressed at certain points. And she was losing weight. And now she's trying to gain it back. So it's just... A really hard fucking thing to go through so I wish her the best and I hope she feels better now in other news let's go ahead and continue on with this update about Jazz's ex's ex I hope y'all keep it up <laughs> so if you guys need a little reminder of what I'm talking about feel free to watch the video before my last video explaining this whole situation where Jazz's ex's ex came out and said Jazz was cheating on Tay, saying that she caught Jazz sneaking out of her ex's, which is also Jazz's ex's house. Now this girl whose name is Leah, she said that she was gonna be posting a YouTube video, she was gonna come with the receipts, and she's basically pretty much reiterating what she said in her Facebook Live while addressing what people are saying to her. Now some people might have been wondering like, if this happened back in October, why are you going on live about it now? So she said that she did go on live back in October when it happened. She just didn't go as hot as her last one, so it didn't get that much attention. Y'all been wondering why I'm so late dropping this live. Well, I dropped a previous live in October about the situation, but I didn't go as hard that time as I went this time. Why? Because I didn't have true evidence that she was still with Tay. So why go that hard? Last time I checked, I didn't find this live on her Facebook because sometimes you can save your lives and post them. So maybe she deleted it. I don't know. Now, this is what puzzles me because she said that she wasn't mad at Jazz. She was so mad at her, her ex, Mimi, who's also Jazz's Mimi, keep up. Because apparently at this time, back in October, her and Mimi were still messing around or had some type of relationship. At the same time, she knew she was messing around with somebody else. I wasn't even that mad about the situation. I was mad at Maria more than I was mad at, at Jazz. Like... Why would I even be mad at her? Me and Maria was the one that was fucking around, not me and Jazz. So I wouldn't be mad at her. But when I finally saw her video and saw how she acted about the um, situation and how she was like just basically careless to a person that actually wanted to be with her, I was like, damn, that's pretty fucked up. And damn, while you was in this relationship, you was coming out of my ex bitch house. Like, what the fuck? That's, 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 that's pretty fucking shady to me. So at that point, she wasn't mad at Jazz. She was more so mad at her ex. But basically, she was triggered when she saw Jazz's video. And she was like, you're not telling the truth. Over here being shady. Over here being fake. And that's when she felt like she had the need to address this shit again. Now, as far as actual receipts, bitch. She said, why do I need to give y'all receipts when I see it with my own two eyes? 
Y'all been asking me to come out with receipts. Why would I give y'all receipts when I saw it with my own two eyes? I'm not the one that was messed with Jazz. I'm not the one that was in the house with Jazz doing that shit with Jazz. I was the one outside and seeing the shit. That's it. It was Maria house that Jazz came out of. She was creeping around the motherfucking... Do I need to do it for y'all again? I'm like, huh? She's basically saying that she's just a witness to this, okay? And those are her receipts. Her story is her receipt. Now, for those who was asking her, like, why didn't you approach Jazz? Because in her life, she did say she wasn't drunk or whatever. She would beat Jazz's ass. Again, she says she was drunk, so she didn't approach her. She didn't even know if it was her until she confirmed it with one of her friends. Her friend was confirming for her this is what Jazz was wearing. And, yeah, she was in town at this night. Then I got some people talking about some, well, why you didn't approach her? Why you didn't? Didn't I say I was drunk? I was. I was so fucked up. Like, I had to... I was... I thought I was seeing shit. What it was, I asked my friend. My friend knew that Jazz was in town. So we had to, like, we... I'm putting pictures together. She basically, um... I'm adding... I'm like, dang, she had on this outfit right here. She had on a little backpack, little, little pants that was, like, checkerboard and these big-ass, boat-ass shoes. The fucking shoes! Big-ass, boat-ass shoes. So... I'm like, damn, that had to be her. So when I called my friend that actually, that's actually friends with her on Facebook and asked, hey, if she's in town, she was like, yeah. And she she told me exactly what she had on. That matched the description of this motherfucker that was tiptoeing out of Maria house. So yeah. Then she says, okay, well, y'all need some receipts. Why isn't Jazz responding to these allegations? Y'all motherfucking talk about Show us receipts. We won't see receipts. We won't see receipts. Y'all ain't seen no damn receipts from me when the motherfucker that walked out this damn house ain't even put out here that, hey, none of this shit is true. She can, if I'm delusional, this motherfucker can motherfucking make that be known right now. She can make that be known off top and tell y'all straight up, hey, that didn't happen. But she hasn't. She haven't came out and told y'all nothing. She ain't responded to anything. I even got this motherfucker on Facebook not even motherfucking responding. She not responding to nothing. Nothing. She deleting. She deleting motherfucking comments under her goddamn fucking statuses. Like, let's just be real. So, like, if you're going to do that, you don't even want the person that you was in the house with to even out you. Because you know that's what she going to do if you piss her off. Yes. I give her a little one-up on this because I feel like whenever celebrities are involved in scandals or... You know, YouTubers, whatever the fuck, whoever is known is involved in some type of scandal. If it's absolutely 100% false, they're gonna take no time to just quickly deny it and move about their day. Some celebrities will just ignore it altogether because it just might be that ridiculous. But it gets to a point where it's like, again, this could be defamation, this could fuck up your brand, this could fuck up your money. And you can't have it circulating that you cheated on your ex who you had this YouTube channel with over 4 million subscribers. At this point, Jazz and Tay will forever be a part of their brand. So you can't have it going around that you cheated on this girl. And at the end of the day, there's going to be some supporters who just don't fuck with you after that. But as she says, Jazz hasn't responded to any of these allegations. Apparently, according to Aaliyah, Jazz has been deleting comments under her status. But at the same time, Jazz has already tweeted and said that she didn't cheat. It was more to it than just that. Jazz came out with her side of the story. Tay came out and responded to Jazz's side of the story about telling her. So it's like, we kind of had an idea of what happened in the relationship. It's not to say that Jazz couldn't have cheated because this could very well be the reason why she was so disconnected in the first place. At the same time, Jazz isn't even about that life in terms of like speaking about her personal life and talking about drama, being in some type of beef. Unless it's fake and gets you paid, I'm pretty sure she's not going to talk about it. And honestly, to my surprise, this story didn't blow up as I thought it would. I mean, honestly, I don't know if it's this time of year or if a lot of niggas are dying, but not a lot of people are on YouTube right now for some reason. Just from looking at people's views and stuff, like, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's just the timing, or maybe it's just like nobody knows who this girl is. But for some reason, it's not getting that much attention. Like, people definitely have made their videos about it, but it's not really roaming throughout the air. Leah actually might be coming out with a video with Mimi. Jazz's ex. And we already know based off of my previous video that Mimi has Leah's back more than she has Jazz. And out of Mimi's mouth, she says she doesn't want to make Leah look stupid on the internet. So she's gonna back her ass up. So I do feel like this might kick off a little bit more if Mimi makes this video with Leah and comes out and says, yes, Jazz was out here eating my pussy back in October.
while y'all niggas was trick or treating, this bitch was in my house eating. Cause right now this is just hearsay, so I can understand not even giving attention to it. But when you come out with the actual person who Jazz was possibly having sexual relations with while she was with Tay, that's a whole other story. But honestly, my main thought about all this was like, if you was previously mad at your ex. And you wasn't mad at Jazz. But you basically felt secondhand offended when Jazz came out with her video explaining her side of things. I still I just still don't understand her point of coming out and saying all this shit. And I really want to understand Mimi's side of things more because she fucks with both Leah and Jazz, but she says she fucks with Leah more. But to me, it's like they both kind of did each other dirty. On Mimi's side, it's like you was apparently fucking around with Leah and then you was out here fucking with Jazz. So to some extent she did Leah dirty, Leah wasn't happy about it. And then Leah goes on live and airs out Mimi's business. Yeah, I get that she was coming for Jazz but she basically aired out Mimi's business in the process. Basically kind of did something to each other that was kind of messy. But they're still coming out of the woodworks like Leah's still my best friend, I got her back. Mimi's still my best friend, I got her back. And Jazz is kind of left in the mud for something that she did allegedly to her own relationship at this point to me it's just like you know that's not really your business i get that if jazz did it she's in the wrong but at the same time i don't understand why she had to come out with this publicly more so because it's affecting everybody in the process like your ex mimi your ex is ex jazz and then your ex is ex is ex Tay, who's still healing from this shit. But at this point, we already know she's trying to come off of it, so it's like, you know, do your thing, sis. I mean, she said in the video she finna take off for telling the truth. If you call me petty, I don't give a fuck. That's just what it is. Like, yeah. I'm just telling the truth. Leah gonna take off for knowing the truth. What it is, Leah gonna take off. For no other truth, like dead ass, like that's just what it is. And then she addresses people who are calling her a liar. And I'm just tired of y'all calling me a liar. I would not get on here and make up a big ass story like this. I wouldn't even tell y'all I was sitting outside my damn ex house. Like, y'all already calling me creepy as fuck for that shit. So why the fuck would I get on here and tell that shit? She's not that important for me to get on here to fucking lie about. And yeah, I'm gonna be on a clown ride because, baby, I'm trying to take off on my own YouTube. Why not take off knowing the truth? <laughs> Why not take off knowing this shit? Which I understand, it's like, what is the whole point of her coming out and saying this? I mean, there really isn't a point, but like, why would she come out and say all this shit if it wasn't the truth? It's just gonna look bad on her if she's really trying to do this come up. You either come up off of telling the truth, like she said, or you're gonna be known for being a liar and hating on somebody else's relationship. So yeah, at this point, it's still alleged. We still don't really have any real receipts. Jazz and Tay have not responded to any of this shit. So at this point, we're just gonna be waiting to hear from the ex's mouth. But that has been in my video. If you guys enjoyed, comment down what you guys think below. Do you guys think that Jazz really cheated? Do you guys think that Jazz's ex is gonna come out and make a video about this? Do you guys think that Leah is going to come off for telling the truth? Comment down what you guys think below. Follow me on Instagram at my Snapchat, H. Chrissy, two S's, two Y's. I love and appreciate you guys, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.